NBC 10 breaking news. Coming to the rescue. Rising water leaves drivers and workers stranded. Trees are down, power is out. You can just see that the roof is starting to go. And homes are left in ruins as several tornadoes hit our region. Definitely like Wizard of Oz. Tonight, we're surveying the damage as Isaias leaves a mark. And now that deadly storm is gone, neighborhoods throughout the NBC 10 viewing area are flooded. Some people even stranded still at this hour. Sky Force 10 captured rescuers on the move in southwest Philadelphia a short time ago, leading an entire street full of people to safety. Check out a similar scene in Collegeville, Montgomery County. This is at First Avenue and Main Street, right near the Perkyoman Creek. Sky Force 10 shot this video just 15 minutes ago. The entire area under water. People who live there are left watching helpfully, literally stranded mm -hmm. on their porches. From flooding rains to tornadoes, the storm did a lot of damage and it did it very quickly. Thank you for joining us on NBC 10 News at 5. I'm Erin Coleman. And I'm Keith Jones. We have just learned that today's storms turned deadly. A woman was killed late this morning in Milford, Delaware. It's in Kent County. Police say her death is storm related, but aren't saying exactly how the woman died at the moment. We have also learned the tornadoes were confirmed or spotted in all three of our states. And right now, more than 600,000 customers across our region are without power. And as we've been showing you, the water is still high or rising in many areas. As we speak, NBC 10's Eric Baskerville is live in southwest Philadelphia, where those floodwaters are causing problems right there from the Darby Creek. Aaron. Yeah, lots of problems, lots of issues going on right now. Let's get right to the video and pictures. You can see uh, heavy equipment right there, some sort of Humvee with a bunch of rescuers going down Lindbergh right now in southwest Philadelphia. We're near 82nd and Lindbergh. This is the first time since we've been out here in the past hour or so we've actually seen that vehicle make its way down here, presumably looking for some more folks who might need some help getting out of these floodwaters. Over to the left over there, too, as well, you can see some of the gushing water that's flowing just gives you kind of a insight of what's going on out here and you can see somebody over there as well who decided not to evacuate look up top over there in the window can you see in the window Brad you see a person hanging out of the window over there too as well who decided to stay inside the house over there we've seen a bunch of firefighters going back and forth just in the water without vehicles looking for anybody that needed help linking arms with some folks some elderly folks and walking them back out here to safety we shot some video a little while ago too that'll give you just a different perspective in the folks that we were talking to they say that some of the water just started coming in so fast through their backyards and back doors that some were able to get out fast enough, get their cars, drive it to higher ground. Others were not so lucky. Uh, they had to, of course, march through some of this water to get to safety. They tell us their belongings are gone. The insides of their homes are ruined. Here's what a woman who's lived on this block for 40 years told me about 20 minutes ago. When's the last time you've seen something like this? Uh, 1985, when we had our last flood. They said the Darby Creek busted. It's crazy. I don't know what we're going to do next. He works at Phoenixville. I work at Penn Presbyterian. I had to call out for the rest of the week. I don't know what kind of damage is in my living room, in my kitchen. Just bought new furniture. This is crazy. So you heard her perspective right there. She's talking about 1985. A lot of folks out here are also talking about 1999, the last time there was heavy rain and heavy flooding in this area. But here's kind of more of what we've been just looking at over here. You can see uh, somebody over there, a rescuer, just kind of wading through the water, just looking to see if anybody is out here who needs any sort of help. I can tell you when we walked up and down Lindbergh earlier today, we saw a whole bunch of folks on the side of the roads with their belongings. They had suitcases, they had baskets with clothes inside. They were basically doing whatever they could to just get to safety. So uh, I believe right now or real soon, the fire commissioner is talking or will be speaking. So we'll get some more details on just how many people had to be evacuated, how many people were rescued, and how long it's going to take before folks can go back inside their homes and see whatever damage there is. Let's send it back to you guys.
Unfortunately, this scene here is playing out all across our area. That's Aaron Baskerville live for us in southwest Philly. Thanks.